think that's the new generation. What does freedom have to do with chastity? Jason Everett is going to give us the answers at the next Royale and Noms in. Don't change the channel. Just a new generation. You gotta go out. Know your faith. You gotta know it to share it. You have to let everyone know. Let me tell you about it. Share the faith. Don't you know that my faith is important to me? It's our destiny. We are the Destiny Generation. Hi, I'm Greg Becker, and welcome to Marie Allen Dom's Inn. We've got a special guest. We've been visiting with this person now for several shows. I hope you've been with us. If you haven't, we've been discussing Pure Love, a booklet written by our guest. And it's a book about a virtue that is so misunderstood today, the virtue of chastity. And not just that, but what is love all about? I want to welcome to Marie Allen Dom's Inn, Mr. Jason Everett. Pleasure to be here. Jason, good to have you guys. And of course, the show wouldn't be the same without our chaplain, co-host, Father Kevin Barrett. Nice to be with you both. Okay, we've been kind of journeying through this um, booklet, and you know, it's only about, oh, 30 pages or so long, yet you can spend uh, an hour on each one of these things because God's plan for relationships, dating, uh, the complementarity between male and female, according to God's plan, is, is so amazing. Um, you talk about this for a living now. Um, do you ever run out of material? Not really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with the teens, they always provide you with new things and new questions. So, uh, you know, you get plenty of this, the similar questions like the one that we've covered. And that what's, what this book really is, is the top 30 or so questions that the teens are wondering about their sexuality, about relationships, about dating and courtship and all of that. So I just try to take the 30 most, most common ones and then put them in a cliff note version. But there's so much more that needs to be said and can be said. Good. Well, we're going to jump right into it. But again, for those who don't know Jason Everett, Jason is a graduate of Francis. University of Steubenville. He did some undergraduate work there and went on for a graduate degree in theology. Mm -hmm. He's been, gets up to 20 phone calls a day for speaking engagements all over the country to come and, and to share this uh, message that needs to be shared. But chastity, they say, you know, I hear that word. I may not know exactly what it means, but I can tell you my freedom is going to be held back mm -hmm. by it. I just know it. How do you respond to that? Well, we need to define what freedom is. If you see freedom as the complete absence of any laws, the ability to do what you want with whoever you want, whenever you want, if that's your concept of freedom, uh, that it'll keep you from getting any type of desire fulfilled that you, that's on your heart or that's on your hormones, um, then for a man that lives in the flesh like that, then yes, it would be seen as a constraint, but we've got to look at our idea of freedom. If that definition of freedom was used in a civil order, no laws, no constraint, you'd have chaos, you'd have anarchy. Uh, because oh no, you can you can kill people, you can have drugs, you can steal, you can do this, you can do that. Now let's look at it at the, at the moral level. So, uh, from a society, it would be chaos. And on the moral level, if we say, well, I need to be free to do whatever I want, uh, what ends up happening is we become enslaved because we end up becoming enslaved by the things that dominate us, which are our hormones. And unless we have control over those, we aren't free. And we because we can't give ourselves as a gift because we don't have control over that gift. And so, if, if a person wants freedom, chastity. Is their best friend. They're going to be freed from questions like, am I being used? Am I going to get a disease? Are we going to get pregnant? Are my parents going to find out? You know, freed from all of these worries and anxieties, you'll be free to fall in love for all of the right reasons. And freed from lying. Mm -hmm. How does lying tie into a um, person who may not be, who may be falling in this area? I mean, you've got to now cover your tracks with one lie after another after another for the young people, yeah. you know, in order to live a lifestyle that's not according to God's plan like that. But so much could be said about freedom. Uh, um, Father, how would you... How about, I'm thinking too of Pope John Paul, because he knows that this is a critical error of our times, not understanding that freedom is not license, like you're pointing out, freedom to do anything I want. That's license. That's not real freedom. Freedom defined by the church, by the great theologians like Thomas Aquinas would be, freedom is the ability to do what is right, the ability to choose what is good, what is right. To be free is to be able to fulfill our duties, choose well, 
do what is uh, right because we can't separate freedom from truth, which is what you pointed out about the lie. Because, and the Pope, a big theme with Pope John Paul is uh, responsibility goes with freedom. In order to really be free, we have to choose well with our freedom to do what is right according to what is true. Mm -hmm. And so that's a big distinction. That's why we need, you know, faith. We need uh, God to instruct us to make the good moral decisions. We need to know with our mind what is truth and what is right and how do I choose well. If, if a person wants freedom, chastity is their best friend.